killers everywhere, it ain't no place to run. Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. Ain't, ain't no mercy, ain't, ain't, ain't no mercy. Huh. Welcome to 7K News. This is Biterbeck along with Buck Mao and the human asshole. That's you, Alex. <laughs> the human asshole. <laughs> the human asshole. The asshole not human that, uh, that could be confused with me. <laughs> it's all right. It uh, works out in the end. Uh, today's topic of discussion is uh, some bullshit that we're going to come up with on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Alex brought up a good point the other day about uh, our good friend oh, Littlefinger. Uh, uh, Littlefinger is old, like praise, praise be Littlefinger. Let me hear that shit. Well, the thing is that Littlefinger is by far the most deser- deserving and <laughs> most eligible person to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Well, he practically did the last three reigns of the ki- of the king, and you know what? I am okay if he took over. If all else perished, if Khaleesi dies, if uh, Cersei dies, if Jon Snow gets filleted in half, I'm okay with Littlefinger ruling. Yeah, what is his well, first, what is his qualification? Definitely. Well, okay, so his most, I guess, staggering. Uh, characteristic is that his influence, right, over anybody. So he knew how to play the game and mm-hmm. played it well. He played it better than uh, Tyrion. He definitely he played it way better than uh, Sparrow or uh, Spider. Uh, what's it? Varys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Varys. So Varys had to leave. Tyrion had to leave, and he stayed. And uh, he played it to the end of his line. And I give him props for that. So not only does he have influence, but he also knows how to remove people from a, from a situation silently. Whether it be abduct them, whether it be slay them, assassinate them, betray them, any way to move them out of a position of power, he could have done easily. And he did to most. He moved um, Thirsty out of her position to become a solid, the only one left to rule, right? She was the uh, the king mother, and um, there was no, nobody else to rule at the time, and, and he moved her out. Well, why? Well, I believe I forgot what episode it was, but he did influence the uh, uh, the priest, and then that turned into a whole confliction slash distraction for Cersei. So I think that his finesse is something to be reckoned with. Um. Well, first of all, he's dead. <laughs> Uh, second of all, I think that he's a real piece of shit, and the whole reason why everything's fucked up is because of him. Uh, it's because people didn't go along with him, not because of him. What? What? Oh my god. Well, I guess I guess that could be argued. He just all he does is cares cares about himself. I don't know if he has the ability to rule over other people. I think he likes controlling other people and shit, but I don't think that makes him a good leader. Do I think that he deserves to be on the Iron Throne simply because he's been a fucking, like, a rat? I don't think so. I, I think that there's plenty of other people who have died along the way that probably were better than him in some aspects. You need a, a ruler that cares about the people so he takes care of the people. Sending Sansa to fucking marry uh, a shitty motherfucker who he knew. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't yeah, know. Yeah, he didn't know. He didn't, he didn't know. know. Show Littlefinger did not know Show Ramsey was a sick fuck. He did not know. And he admits as much. He's like, that was a mistake. I didn't know that he was a crazy yeah, son of a bitch. He didn't know he was a BDSM He should have known, being fucking Littlefinger, he should have known. But he didn't know. And, you know, and Sansa says it best. He's like, well, if you didn't know, that means uh, either you're you know, a really cruel person, or you're stupid as shit. <laughs> and she, she she laid it out pretty much like that. And he's like, well, you know, I, if I could take it back, I'd take it back, but, you know, what's done is done. Sorry. <laughs> if you want to kill me, kill me. I'm okay with that. I made so a mistake. So do you agree that Littlefinger should be the one ruling? I don't. 
You want the rule? Fandor Clegane, the Hound. <laughs> wow. 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 I did not see that coming. He yeah. would be the worst guy. He would be like, no, oh. he's the best. He's the best. I'll tell you why he's the best. Look, after hanging out with Arya and almost getting killed, he, 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 he learned compassion, which is something he <laughs> didn't have. So, he learned so, fear is what he learned. No, he, he, the only thing he's afraid of is fire and maybe dying. <laughs> Tell him his name, Brienne. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, after that, he, he, he learned better. He learned better. Like when they went back, you know, they were going back to the wall, and they found that family that he had, you know, robbed. He beat up the father and left the little girl there, and then he felt sad, and he buried them. He's like, you, you deserve better than that. He still fucking killed them, though. He still fucked them over. Yeah. It, no, he, he <laughs> fucked them over, but he didn't kill them. They died. He, he said they were going to die anyway, which is what happened. They died anyway. Yeah, who do you want to be on the You're going to pick, like, Khaleesi's Black Dragon or something. <laughs> Look, that was my first choice. Uh, who do I think should be sitting on the Well, you know what? To be honest, I don't think the Iron Throne is going to be existing in the end. I think that uh, Daenerys' vision of the Iron Throne just and the, the whole temple just being fucking destroyed is what's going to be happening. I think by the end, people are just going to be ruling themselves. It's going to be more or less a free country. If anybody does rule as a Night King... Wow. Jesus. Jesus. Golly. Thank God you're not writing the fucking movie or the show. Damn. <laughs> I will say, though, that I don't think that that's what's going to happen, but if somebody had to be sitting on a fucking throne at the end of it, I think that the Night King should be it, because other than that, who gives a fuck about a throne? Like, obviously they should just be worrying about how to fucking make sure that everybody's living the best life. That's what Sandor would do. He would make and sure I everybody had the, food. See, if the, if the Night King, though, was on the throne, then nobody would need food. They're all fucking ice zombies. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> wow. wow! I want a world of ice zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think anybody deserves to sit on the throne in the end. I think I just want to see Cersei die. Um, I want to see Jamie die. I want to see pretty much everybody die. I don't even care if John dies. Uh, so, as long as Tyrion's alive at the end, I'll be cool. So you want the Seven Kingdoms to rule themselves? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> but that—that's more wars and fights and famine. People Depends starving. On, uh, their goals and everything, man. Because look, look, just like you know, you're, you're on the internet. The world's full of people that are stupid. They need to be led. They need a leader. They need a visible head on the snake to look at and worship and go, okay, that's my leader, and I'm down with them. Maybe I just live in. It's a shitty world with shitty people. And that's all we have time for for this episode of 7K News. Please like and subscribe and see you during season eight for the premiere. Seize him. Cut his throat. Stop. Wait. I've changed my mind. Let him go.